to what we have at the moment, like living in another culture, uh, experience work beyond just the regular student living at home. So what skills do you think you have personally <coughs> which will enable you to survive for the year? It's just a year, isn't it? You're planning to go to yeah, yes. yes, you'll be away for the year. Well, I like to consider that I'm reasonably outward bound, so I uh, I do the CCF at school, yeah. the Combined Cadet Force, and I'm, I'm head, head of sections, so head of army. So we have to do a lot of uh, course about, I have to do a lot of teaching with that, as well as going outside to do all the night nighttime treks and all that. As well as I contribute to the gold, uh, I perform in the gold DV Duke mm -hmm. Veneral Award. Yes. So I've done my practice expedition. Uh, so as far as difficult conditions, I feel I've I've experienced the range. But with respect, CCF, DV, yeah, it's four days, five days. Yeah. We're talking about a year. Okay. Do you think you you've got the resilience and the determination to see it through? I would. Yeah, it's, as you say, I haven't experienced anything like it, yeah. so it's difficult to say how I'll handle it, but it's something that I, I believe that I can do, particularly for, like, I've, I've experienced all the living conditions, so I went to Uganda, I've been to India, I've lived in the basic conditions, but I haven't experienced it for the length of time, so although that might be the next step up, the next challenge, I feel I've experienced the basic uh, necessity that I will need for the year abroad. What are you expecting to gain from that? Uh, well, personally, I want to. I feel it could better set me up for life in university, having uh, experience beyond just what everyone else would have done. So just the basic transition from school to university life. I'll experience more than just the the school environment. So I'll have been to the other uh, other part of living, the different culture. I'll have even worked in a position where I've I've been employed as a teacher because we're not in Guyana, we're not volunteers, we're, we're actually employed by the government because we have more qualifications than most of the teachers out there. So I'll have had that almost diversity, well, I hope, I hope so, but, um, so. How are you going to reassure your parents <laughs> that things are okay, you're all right, and don't panic, Mum, I will see you in X number of months, sorry, Matt says, we're difficult woman, difficult mother. Well, we don't have necessarily that many means of communication on there because there is no electricity or no phone signal. So letters will all will likely to have. So although I'll try and get them out as often as possible, there may be some some worrying out there, I suppose. But uh, so she's experienced it all before with my older brother, and he he loved it. He had a great time, and we don't particularly see much of him anymore because he's so outward bound after having his year abroad. So every opportunity he has to leave university, he's in another country, living it all again. So he spent a lot of time in Guatemala and in Morocco, so hopefully that's something. Do you think that experience and the experience you're planning to have will alter your sort of world vision of, you know, people and work and how the world will continue in a sense? Well, I, I hope it will because I know that there's common, common perceptions of these countries that people living in conditions like that aren't almost from people in this country, they're, they're pushing people saying they should be living more like us, they should have better access to technology. But when I, particularly when I went to India and I went to Uganda, uh, it really changed that view. I almost get quite frustrated by that idea because you see all these people who have so much less than us, but they're so much happier to have less than us. So I'm hoping that... Some that, yeah, that will rub off, and, rub off. And perhaps have more of an understanding that we don't all need to be the same. Exactly. Sorry, Simon. Well, I'm just going it's more a moral and sort of philosophical question. Is there an issue with you going to teach there when maybe they need their own teachers who are employed by the government? Uh, well, as far as I've been informed from Project Trust, they're telling me that Guyana has somewhat of a vacuum uh, in terms of qualification. So most of the teachers that they have out there currently are people who have left school the year before and they're almost teaching like their best friends because they're all in the middle late. So Project Trust is aiming to fill the vacuum they have, and particularly in science and maths, they have very little qualifications around the country at all for these subjects. So what our ambitions are, are to go out and help them to get a better foundation for these subjects, and as soon as they're capable to start sending in teachers of their own, uh, then Project Trust withdraw from that country and allow them to continue at their own pace. So it's a developmental project, which I think is, uh, you know, I agree, you know, to be sustainable for the people living there, so to enable them to, to teach their own. So, legacy, and I know you put in your, in your statement that, that, that 